Hello Nuggets. Okay, so I haven't done a, a video log. This is the second time I've recorded this because I forgot the mic. So I haven't done a log for a couple of days. Um, I almost didn't do one today. I have put videos up. I have been working on the channel, but I almost didn't do one today. But I'm like, you can't do it again. You can't miss another day's log. You know, you've already broken the promise by not doing one yesterday. Um, you got to do one today. So today... I'm out writing, doing my morning writing. It's going really well. I'm working on the log line specifically today. And the log line, which I think is good, I need to like leave it alone and come back to it tomorrow and check. But once that's done, my treatment is completed. Now, if you're not if you don't quite know what a treatment is, it's for a movie script at least, it's the short story. It's what you use to sell the story. Okay. Um and people treat them different ways. Sometimes the treatment is just a short story of the movie. Sometimes it's a very filmic treatment. So it'll be the short story, but it's also got some slug lines in it and some locations and some shots and some snippets of dialogue. So the tone of the movie that you expect is also, you know, handed in in the treatment. For me, it's just a short story, right? And it, for me, it's a working document that's there for me to write the script because I think the script sells. The reason I think that is because I used to be in development and when I would get sent treatments, the first thing I did was turn to the back page and see what how many pages there were. Because if there were 20 pages in it, I'm not reading it. <laughs> Just not. You know, it's lazy, I know, but I would rather read a three, two, three page thing, say, yeah, I like this story, now I'll read the whole treatment. At which point, if I'm going to invest in 20 minutes of block text, I'll just read the script. And if you haven't written the script, I don't know. Anyway, the treatments are guidance for me, so it's a short story. So I wrote the log line today. I do it backwards. Usually, I think most people write the log line, then they write the treat the synopsis, maybe, which is like an expansion on the log line, then a treatment, which is the full expansion, the whole idea, and then the script, right? So today worked on the log line. I think it's done. I'm gonna check tomorrow. So now I have log line, characters, themes, so you know what I'm dealing with which in this new script is uh, trust and reconciliation um, and learning to trust people again after you've been a little bit, after the character's a little, character is a bit broken. Um, and then the actual synopsis, right? So that's all done. Next I write the script, right? Here's the problem. I feel like I'm missing a step. I feel like there's something in between the treatment and the script that I don't do. And the reason is I've been through this before where I write, the script, I start writing it. So look, this is the script, right? Can you see that? Yeah. That's the treatment. So I start off and I go, okay, here's my guidance. Start writing the script. Great, okay, start writing the script. I'm writing the script. Now, what happens here? Look at the treatment. Nah, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I can tweak that, I can tweak that. Put that away, go back down here. Yeah, what happens over here? And now this isn't relevant <laughs> because I've just kind of wandered, right? And I think those problems, which probably aren't real, you know, you're, the, the newest thing you do is always a better idea. The newest idea you have, at least for me, is always the best idea. You know, because I like fresh and I like new. But it doesn't mean my original idea wasn't great. When I go back and look at old scripts that I gave up, I'm like, this was good. Why did I stop doing this? But so there's the problem. I start writing the script and I kind of start losing the treatment and things start going a bit pear-shaped. You know what I mean? So I think there's something in between those two states. And... I'm, I'm, I've got to find out what it is and I want to find out for this because I think it's a really good movie what I'm writing. I think it's a really good idea. I can see the entire movie in my head. But that's a tentative grip I have on it. Even though I can see it right now, when I get to writing it, it's so complex and so involved, it's very possible that new images will pop into my head and I'll start losing you know, the, 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 the movie that's playing in my mind. And so I'll refer back to the treatment. And if I've gone off the rails a bit, the treatment starts to unravel a little bit. And then I'm in this mess. But I don't know what the step is. I don't know what the thing in between is. So I've got to try something new this time around. And today I was thinking about it and worrying about it, frankly, um, because I need to get this screenplay done. I need to start making a living as a writer. So I need to get this out there. It's a makeable movie. It's cheap. It's very attractive to actors and directors. It's the kind of thing that, if, it, if the script is good, that you'd read and say, I want to play that character or I want to direct it. You know, it's a very indie feel and it's, you know, good story. I think this can make it. But if I fuck it up again, <laughs> then I've got nowhere. So I've got to solve it this time. Maybe, maybe the solution is a longer treatment. 
Not something for anyone else to read. This is the treatment that I don't think anyone's going to read it because I don't need them to. I'm going to write the script. No one will ever see the treatment, maybe. Uh, but maybe the idea is that I take the treatment and I turn it into one of those 20-page treatments where I actually write out the slug lines, write out the scenes. Not every camera shot, not every point of view, but every location, every change in time, you know, every focal point I start to expand on. Maybe that's what I need to do. It does worry me a little bit, though, going away and writing 20,000 words for something, it just feels like wasted work. But maybe that's where my mind is screwed up. Maybe it's only wasted work. It's maybe it rather it's not wasted work if it means I actually complete the script. And I complete it with this movie that's playing in my head right now. So I don't know. It's a, it's a little nerve-wracking. I don't know if there's another method. I tried Googling it. I don't know. Maybe I should reach out to a couple of my writer friends and ask, what do you do? Do you just start writing it? I think most of them would just say, yeah, I just start writing it. A lot of them have writing partners, and I think in this situation, a writing partner really helps, right? Because you can bounce off each other, and if you start going off the rails, your writing partner's like, hey, come back come back here, this was good, remember this was good? Or even just a producer, right? It doesn't even have to be a writing partner. Someone with a level head to say, stop it, we liked this idea. This, where was the treatment? We like this idea. Stop going over here, you don't need to. Go back to that, go back to that. So if I can, maybe it's a post-it note I put... <laughs> on my monitor. Um, I don't know, but that's the problem I'm facing. I thought I'd blog about it. Maybe I'll look back on this in a week's time and go, I'm doing it again. <laughs> stop it. Anyway, the end result is I need to stop faffing about. Even though I'm working hard, I know I'm avoiding day one of script writing because of this fear that I'm going to screw it up. But tomorrow is day one. I'm writing the script. I'm starting it tomorrow and I'm going to get into it. And I... I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to wake up and whatever takes me when I hit the when I hit the keyboard and I open up, put my headphones on, play the music, go. And whatever that comes out there, that's the method I'm going to use. If it means just writing the script, great. If it means index cards, great. Whatever it is, I start tomorrow. All right, wish me luck. Hopefully you'll see it at the Oscars. <laughs> Stop it. All the Razzies in a couple of years. All right, you nuggets. Have a great day. Bye. Night.